I was scared. There was a lot of pressure, you know, like there was moments where I was like, why? Jake Paul is sweating bullets and insanely terrified of his upcoming fight with Mike Tyson. He's already started preparing like a man possessed, which makes you think he knows he's in for a brutal loss this time. Sure, his performance against Mike Perry was impressive, but let's be real for a second was Perry a boxer? Absolutely not. So far, Jake has cherry-picked his opponents, or should I say his wins, but now he's up against a man who was the heavyweight champ at just 20 years old. Don't you think Jake's panic is totally justified? Your favorite problem child and hype master Jake Paul faced off against Mike Perry on July 20, 2024. The fight ended with Jake securing a victory by TKO in the sixth round, adding yet another controversial chapter to his wild boxing career. Yeah, he was good and all, but come on, let's get real for a second. Mike Perry is known for his time in the Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship, not exactly the same ballpark as professional boxing. Even though Perry lost, his performance showed off his resilience and ability to adapt to a new fighting style. I, there's something I gotta do, gotta get back to the drawing board, uh, heal up and... The fight stats lay it all out Jake Paul's precision and power were on full display as he landed 112 punches out of 281 thrown, rocking a 40% accuracy rate. On the flip side, Perry, making his pro boxing debut, landed 58 out of 210 punches with a 28% accuracy rate. Significant strikes were a huge deal in this match, with Paul delivering 85 big hits compared to Perry's 42. These numbers highlight Paul's superior technique and experience while showcasing Perry's grit and determination to keep swinging despite the odds stacked against him. Paul's defensive game was also on point, as he managed to block or dodge 65% of Perry's strikes, showing off his strategic defense and lightning quick reflexes. Perry lasting six rounds against a professional boxer like Jake Paul is pretty impressive. Spent their hard-earned money and they came and I hope they had a great time. I, you know, it's not every day you get to see Mike Perry. The bout was more than just a brawl, it was a clash of backgrounds. Mike Perry's leap from BKFC to professional boxing was a huge part of the narrative. In bare-knuckle fighting, the lack of gloves and different rules emphasize raw power and sheer endurance. Surely if Paul had faced Perry in BKFC, do you honestly think he'd have any chance? A big fat no. So, when Perry had to switch gears to a more technical and regulated sport like boxing, you'd expect the results to be worse. But oh boy, the post-fight atmosphere was buzzing with controversy, mainly because of Jake Paul's mouth. After his win, Paul didn't hold back on his criticism of Perry and his fans. He belittled Perry's performance, saying it lacked real boxing skill, and took a jab at Perry's fans for overhyping him. Paul's exact words were, Perry couldn't back up the talk. He's not a real boxer, just a bare-knuckle brawler playing dress-up in the ring ouch. These comments were seen as incredibly disrespectful, especially considering Perry's significant effort to step into a new sport and compete at a professional level. It happened, you, you know, I told you exactly what was going to happen. He, he was big upping his boy Mike Perry. I said, okay, Connor, like, after I fuck up Mike Perry, then you're next. Jake Paul's habit of disrespecting his opponents after a fight isn't new, but his comments about Perry hit a particularly raw nerve. Many in the boxing community saw his remarks as a cheap shot at a fighter who showed considerable courage and determination. Perry's supporters argued that going six rounds against a seasoned boxer like Paul was an achievement in itself, especially for someone making their boxing debut. Now, after all the brash talk and partying, Jake has to face some reality. Perry's bout was just an appetizer, as Jake himself said, and the main course is Mike Tyson. The boxing world was buzzing when the fight between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson was first scheduled for July 20th. This was supposed to be the showdown of the century, pitting the brash YouTube sensation against the legendary former heavyweight champion. Fans and pundits alike were hyped, wondering how the 27-year-old internet star would fare against the 58-year-old icon who once ruled the ring. Jake, with his string of wins against non-traditional boxers, was about to step into uncharted territory, facing a true boxing titan. As the fight date neared, promotional events, press conferences, and training camp updates kept everyone on the edge of their seats. This fight was touted as a defining moment in Jake Paul's career, a chance to silence the critics who accused him of cherry-picking his opponents. For Mike Tyson, it was an opportunity to remind everyone of his indomitable spirit and boxing prowess. Even at his advanced age, everything was set for an epic clash until the unexpected happened. On May 22, 2024, 
news broke that Mike Tyson had suffered a severe medical issue during a flight from Los Angeles to New York. Mid-flight, Mike experienced intense abdominal pain, forcing an emergency landing. Doctors diagnosed him with a severe ulcer flare-up, a condition that could have serious implications if not treated promptly. This sudden development led to the postponement of the highly anticipated fight, with the new date set for November 15, 2024, giving Mike Tyson time to recover. The timing was just too convenient, so close to the original fight date, leading many to speculate it was a convenient excuse to delay the bout. Now, taking advantage of Tyson's downtime and health concerns, Jake Paul has lined up a fight with Mike Perry. Why? Because he knew he could win against a BKFC fighter. Obviously, Jake's been boxing for only four years, but at least he knows more about the sport than these MMA and BKFC guys. It's all just a tragic attempt to stay relevant and hyped. Honestly, Jake Paul's rise in the boxing world has been as controversial as it has been meteoric. A recurring criticism against him is his tendency to cherry-pick opponents, carefully selecting fighters who, while notable, lack the traditional boxing credentials to pose a genuine threat in the ring. This strategy has led to an impressive-looking record but has raised serious questions about his legitimacy as a boxer. Jake Paul's first step into professional boxing saw him taking on fellow YouTuber Anisongib on January 30, 2020. Anisongib, whose real name is Ali Al Fakhri, had no significant boxing background, making him an easy target for Jake. The fight ended in a first-round TKO, with Jake delivering a flurry of punches that overwhelmed Anisongib's amateur defenses. While this victory was celebrated by Jake's fans, it did little to convince boxing purists of his skills. Next in line was Nate Robinson, a former NBA player who fought Jake on November 28, 2020. Robinson's athletic prowess was undeniable, having won the NBA slam dunk contest three times, but switching from basketball to boxing was not so smooth. Despite his physical conditioning, Robinson had minimal boxing experience. The fight ended in a brutal second round knockout, with Jake landing a devastating right hand that left Robinson unconscious on the canvas. This fight grabbed a ton of media attention, but also amplified criticisms of Jake's opponent selection. As KSI said, Jake's fights are more about entertainment than real boxing challenges. Mike Tyson's return to the ring will have to wait. Today, organizers announced his match against YouTuber Jake Paul has been postponed due to medical issues. In a statement, Tyson said doctors told him to rest for a few weeks due to an ulcer flare-up.